Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here once again. And as promised, kind of, <laughs> uh, I bought you uh, the next installment of uh, my Tyranid army. Um, now I've, this is a unit, or at least part of a unit that I've absolutely loved ever since uh, I started playing 40k. It's also one of the reasons why I started collecting a Tyranid army. And that is, of course, the Gene Stealer. Um, now, looking back over 40k history and things like that, I don't think there is a single unit that causes more terror in a lot of things than the Gene Stealer. You know, of a, of a fairly basic unit type is what I mean. Obviously, big monsters, creatures, and everything else, of course, but. Uh, when you think of like games uh, like Space Hawk, which I know quite a lot of people got into the hobby through that, uh, the games that Gene Steelers have been a part of, and things like that, and you kind of get that sense of how uh, they work. I mean, even reading uh, uh, the Black Library no uh, novels, which include Gene Steelers, and obviously the Brood Lords and. Uh, things like that, you get a true sense of what a, a unique killing unit they are. Uh, I mean, like in Space Hook, where they're able to predict, or you know, they they understand patterns and uh, things like that. So, anyway, I'm getting. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, today I'm obviously with uh, Death Storm being released a couple of weeks back now. Um, which is a really awesome set. If you can still get a hold of a set, I could, you know, I really recommend it. Whether you're a Blood Angel or Tyranny player, or even you just like collecting the miniatures, it's a really, really cool set. Uh, so now onto the uh, Tyranny special character, which is obviously the big monstrous thing in the middle, uh, which is a special character Broodlord called the Spawn of Cryptus uh, or Cryptus or however you pronounce that. And first thing you'll notice is just how monstrously big this guy is, uh, or this monster is. I mean, uh, it's to look at it. You think you can see how where, that it's based on the uh, 09 Space Hawk uh, Broodlord model, but it is bigger. <laughs> He's a lot bigger. He's a lot, a uh, lot more open, and a really, really nice dramatic pose for him as well. So, uh, I mean, you can see how tall he is just over the Gene Steelers. Plus, also, he's on the new smaller overall base uh, and things like that. But a really, really unique model and one I can't recommend highly enough. So, if I just take you in a bit closer. So, as you can see, obviously, I've done them up in my Tyranid scheme uh, because I will be using this guy as my Alpha Broodlord. Uh, which I'm going to do a special uh, Gene Stealer pack to go with him, so it looks uh, really part of this, uh, like a unique unit to my hive. Because uh, I like doing like alpha packs of uh, certain bits to make them. And to me, alphas are meant to be a lot bigger and tougher looking, and uh, you know, look like they're you know, that they've been through a few wars. So, oh wow, I don't even. Uh, where can I? So, uh, let's start with. I suppose start with the base. So as you can see, he's quite uh, not. You know, nicely running up that spine. Uh, it's not crouched on it like the space hook one is on the skulls. He is quite clearly running up the uh, up that spine. And we're starting to see this with, uh, with 40k now. I know a lot of people have referenced it on um, forum pages and things like that, where it's uh, about the new base sizes. Uh, same with Marines as well. Marines look like they're now going up onto the 32 mil bases, I think now, uh, which I'll come to when I do um, a couple of Blood Angel bits and pieces. Um, but as you can see, this is a really, really impressive model uh, in terms of if you want a broodlord that really stands out from 
I suppose anything else. Uh, with the implant, or, or I know it is the uh, implant uh, tongue. And then you've got the proper crazy knife-like uh, rending claws, as well as the standard uh, normal hands just on the inside. And it has that real menacing look about it as well. So I think GW have done an absolutely fantastic job with this uh, with this guy, and hopefully we should see, uh, you know maybe a few more nid stuff to uh, plan to come out next year. Uh, who knows? Um, so yeah, so there you go, guys. Fairly quickish vid on uh, the new ca uh, the new character model for the Tyranids. Uh, he has some really cool attacks and uh, um, special rules as well if you use him as the uh, spawn, uh, which I'm planning to, because uh, then you can take him as a warlord and then you can hide him in a big pack of gene stealers, and why wouldn't you want that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, level 2 or level 1 Master Psyker, I think, as well. Uh, also has his own special rule, which I can't quite remember what it is, but I know it's quite a tasty one. Um... And so yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, hope, hope you like it. Uh, as always, any questions, uh, either drop a comment down below or send us a message over on the Facebook uh, or even over on Instagram. Drop us a comment on there. Why not? Um, <laughs> so, uh, next up, well, more than likely, it will, it will be a Blood Angel vid of some kind. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to actually do I might do the sanguinary priest since it's what I'm working on at the moment um, but yeah but, uh, there you go guys thank you very much for watching thank you so much for subscribing and I'll catch you next time cheers <laughs>